Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 11, Volume of a Sphere. So, classwork exercises one through three. What is the volume of a cylinder? Well, the volume of a cylinder is its base times its height. And the base of a cylinder is a circle, so it's pi r squared times height. Okay, so about the dot, V equals pi r squared height. That is the volume of a cylinder. What is the height of the cylinder? The height of the cylinder is the same as the diameter of the sphere. Okay. Okay, so... If this is our diagram, we have a sphere inside this cylinder. The height of the ball is right at the top of the cylinder, so we can assume that that is right across the top there. It's touching at the top. That has the same height. So if this is a radius of the sphere, okay, and this or, or the cylinder, then the radius of the sphere is going to be the same. And then if I rotate this ball around, then this would also be a radius to here, and this would be a radius down to here. But then if I move that outside, that is our height. So the height of the cylinder is 2 times the radius. So I'll just write that over here. H equals 2R. Number three, if the volume of the sphere equals 2 thirds the volume of the cylinder with the same diameter and height, what is the formula for the volume of a sphere? Okay, so now they're saying it's two-thirds the volume of the cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. So the volume of the sphere is two-thirds that. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to write down a formula here for this, and I'm going to refer to volume of sphere instead of writing this every time as just simply v. So I'm going to say the volume of the sphere is going to equal two-thirds the volume of a cylinder. And the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. Okay, it's from right up here. Volume of the cylinder, pi r squared times height. But now if I know h is 2r, I can substitute it in. So now I can say the volume of the sphere is 2 thirds times pi r squared times my h, which is 2r. Okay, so I just substituted h with 2r because the height is 2 radii. And the volume is then 2 thirds pi Actually, let's put the 2 in front. 2, I just move the 2 out in front, pi, and then r squared times r is r cubed. Okay, so now we're leading up to something here. So then if I multiply 2 thirds times this, 2 thirds times 2 is 4 thirds, and then we have pi r cubed. So there is the volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so example one says to compute the exact volume of the sphere shown below. So we always write our formula, don't we? Volume equals 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So therefore my volume is going to equal 4 thirds pi. Substitute in my radius of 4 cubed. So the volume is going to equal 4 thirds pi and 4 cubed is 4 times 4, which is 16, times 4, which is 64. So when I simplify this, I'm going to get volume equals 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25, over 3 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, so there it is. I could simplify that and make that improper fraction mix, but whenever you simplify, there's chance of error. So if it does not say to do it, I'd leave it in this form right here. All right, number two. 
A cylinder has a diameter of 16 inches, marked right here. Cylinder diameter of 16, and a height of 14, which is marked right here. What is the volume of the largest sphere that will fit into the cylinder? In other words, the largest sphere that will fit into this cylinder will have the same height and the same width. So obviously I can't put a sphere in here that's 16 because then it would stick out the top 2 inches. So the largest I can go is 14. So if my sphere can only go over to the edge this way and that's halfway, then its radius would equal 7. And if I go 7 over this way, that's 14, and then it's touching the sides. I can't go any larger because if I went 16, it wouldn't fit. So it's got, it can't be any wider than the sphere. So there's still going to be 2 inches of space at the top here, but it will be hugging each side. So, so we start with our formula. Volume equals 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. And our volume equals 4 thirds pi, substituting in our radius of 7 cubed. So the volume equals 4 thirds pi. And 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is 343. Okay. So 3 will not go into 343, so I'm just going to multiply my tops. Think of that as over 1. So I'm going to get the volume equals 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, over 3 pi inches cubed. Okay, again. This 3 will not go into 1,372 evenly. It did not say to simplify it, so we are done. There it is. 1,372 over 3 pi inches cubed. Okay, so now you have exercises 4 through 8. It says to use the diagram in the general formula to find the volume of the sphere. So try these 4 problems or 5 problems and pause the video, and then when you're done, come back and see how you did. So here's the diagram, and it's really hard for me to read the conversion here. That is a 6, and it's in inches, so it's 6 inches radius. Okay, so R equals 6. The average, so that says use the diagram to generate the formula of the sphere. So the V equals 4 thirds pi R cubed, substitute in my 6. 4 thirds pi times 6 cubed, so the volume equals 4 thirds pi, and then 6 cubed is 36 times 6, so 6 times 6 is 36, and then another 6 is 36, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, so times 216, 3 will go into 216, because 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, so if 3 goes into 9, 3 will go into 216, so we're going to reduce that, which would be 72. And the volume equals 4 times 2 is 8. 7 times 4 is 28 pi inches cubed. And there you have it. Number 5, the average basketball has a diameter of 9.5 inches. There's our key. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not even going to read any further. I'm going to divide that by 2. I want radius. Half of 9 is 4.5. Half. half of a half is a quarter. So that would be 4.75. 4 and, a quarter, four and 3 quarters is half of 9.5. What is the volume of the, an average basketball? Round your answer to the tenths place. Okay. Keep in mind what that says. This time we're not going to leave it in terms of pi. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Don't get lazy and quit writing the formula. Always, always, always write your formula. So therefore the volume equals 4 thirds pi times 4.75 cubed. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator now because these are not very friendly values. Okay, so I brought in the calculator. So I'm going to do 4.75 cubed. So 4.75 
cubed is number three here. 4.75 cubed is 107 point. So I'm going to write that first. So it's going to be 4 over 3 pi. And it was 107 point 171875. Now I know it says round to the tenth place, but we never round into our very last step because if we round earlier, our, our, even we have to multiply or divide, we're off by even more. So let's just wait to the last step to round. So now I'm going to multiply that by 4 thirds and pi so I can do that all at once. And let me get my calculator back out here. So I've already got that. So now if I write times 4 over 3, 4 divided by 3 is 4 thirds, and then the pi button. So now I have the answer 107.171875 times 4 thirds pi and hit enter. I get 448.92. The 2 is in the hundredths place, so I round, I, I cut it off. I do not round up, so it's 448.9. And it is inches cubed. Okay, number six. A spherical fish tank has a radius of eight inches. Assuming the entire tank could be filled with water, what would be the volume of the tank B? Round to the nearest tenth place. Volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. Volume equals four thirds pi eight cubed. Okay, so now I'm just going to plug this all into my calculator in one step rather than doing the 8 cubed alone. So here we go. So I bring out my calculator and I type in, and I'll use parentheses for my fraction, 4 thirds times pi times 8 cubed. Okay, so 4 thirds times pi times 8 to the third power equals 2,144.66. That 6 will make this a 7. So 2,144.7. 2,144.7. And it's in inches cubed. That is the vol volume of the spherical fish tank. Now we could take this one step further and determine how many cubic inches are in a gallon and figure out how many gallons it is, but they didn't ask, so I'll leave that to you if you are interested. Google it. Number seven, use a diagram to answer the questions. A, predict which figure shown above has the greater volume. Explain. Okay. Well, the volume of this is one-third pi r cubed, and the volume of this is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so it's a prediction, and the radius of this is 2.8. I think it's 2.8. Okay, so this is 2.8 millimeters. This is 2.5 millimeters, but I notice I made a mistake here. Um, the volume of a cylinder is one-third pi r squared times the height, which is actually 2r, if you'd remember. So if I did that, one-third pi r squared times 2r would be the same as two-thirds pi r cubed. And I see four-thirds pi r cubed over here, because two times a third is two-thirds, r times r squared is r cubed. So my prediction already is going to be this one, but we have to take into consideration the radius. But the sphere's radius is larger, so I'm banking on this one being larger. And B says use the diagram to find the volume of each and determine which has a greater volume. I will do that on this page here since we don't have the diagrams on the next page. So I'm going to go with this formula here for the cylinder, and when I finish this, it's going to be 2 over 3 times pi times 2.5 cubed.
Okay, but I can't do that because that is just if the typical cone was double, and I just realized that 2.5 times 2 is not 12.6, it's 5. So I'm going to back this up to here and not put that 2R in because it's not equal to this 2 radius. I was thinking of a cylinder that is two, is the same height as this, and it's not. They, this is actually taller. So my apologies there. So I'm going to put this 1 3rd pi R squared times height back, and my height is 12.6. And then I'll plug in my radius, which is 2.5. And then I multiply that by 12.6, which is the height. Okay, and 2.5 squared, which is 6.25. So 1 third pi, 2.5 squared is 6.25. Okay, and times 12.6. So I'm going to get the calculator. Let's clear this and start fresh, and I'm going to put in one third, one divided by three, pi, times six point, times six point two five, times twelve point six. Okay, so I have one third pi 6.25 times 12.6 equals 82.4, uh, let's just round to tenths, 82.5. So this is 82.5 millimeters cubed. Okay, I'll do the ball in red. Four thirds pi, the radius is 2.8 cubed. So I put that in the calculator and get that back. And if I type in 4 thirds, 4 divided by 3 times pi times 2.8 cubed okay, 4 thirds pi 2.8 cubed and hit enter, I got 91.95 or 91 point or 92 actually. So that's approximately 92 millimeters cubed so the sphere was larger okay so that's b we're done with that number eight one of two half spheres formed by a plane through the sphere center is called a hemisphere what is the volume what is the formula for the volume of a hemisphere well if a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed and i multiply that by a half then it's going to be this 2 will make that 4 a 2, and I get 2 thirds pi r cubed. So that is the volume of the hemisphere.